Good morning, guys. Hello. Welcome to another vlog. Ooh. So where are we today? And we're at Beaver Castle, actually spelled Belvoir. Belvoir at <laughs> Beaver Castle. So come along for a wander around here with us, guys. Beautiful Sunday morning. Hope you enjoy it. Well, it's an absolutely beautiful morning to come here. Uh, last time I came was about 30 years ago and uh, not really changed, I have to say, on the outside and I'm sure probably not changed much on the inside. So we're just having a little look in the rose garden while we're waiting for the castle to open. And how beautiful is this? Stunning morning, hardly anybody about yet. But this place looks absolutely magical in the October morning sunlight. So Beaver Castle is the home of the Dukes of Rutland. Uh, you may have seen the video that we did a couple of weeks ago from Hatton Hall. So there is a link there. Um, Haddon Hall is the home of the Duke of Rutland's younger brother, Lord Edward Manners. So I'll pop a link in the comments below if you'd like to check that video out as well.
these rooms were especially built for the king's visit, he was so impressed with them that he actually recreated some of the appearance of them when he remodelled Windsor Castle. So yes, Beaver Castle predates Windsor in appearance. This is a long way down. Yeah. So we've just come out of Beaver Castle and it is incredibly grand. Not busy this morning so we've been able to walk around and in most of the rooms it was just us. So we're going to carry on around now and take a better look at the gardens. So Beaver Castle actually dates back to 1066 but this is actually the fifth incarnation of the castle which was built in 1816. Um, beautiful place to walk around. It is very very palatial and very well maintained. The staff that are on hand are very knowledgeable and very informative. I mean we thoroughly enjoyed walking around there this morning and we're just going to take a look at the grounds now. So absolutely stunning view from the back of Beaver Castle. I think just behind me you might be able to make out some of the, uh, the private garden area where they've got a swimming pool, tennis court and even a tiki bar. So we're just strolling around the Japanese garden at Beaver and uh, quite interestingly uh, episodes of The Crown were filmed here, so if uh, you are a fan of The Crown TV series on Netflix, you can take a look at the inside of Parts of Beaver. Um, yeah, we're so lucky with the weather today. I mean, how beautiful is this? Might be a bit bright on the camera with the sunshine, but uh, we have dropped very, very lucky with the weather today.
So here we are in the Duchess's garden. Um, according to the sign that we've just read, this was restored. Well, they started to restore it in 2013. So I think it's pretty much a woodland garden. Very, very pretty, very quiet. Obviously, I think anybody that's slightly infirm, you'd need to be careful of your footing here. So this is the Root and Moss House. It really looks like something from Middle Earth. Very, very cute. Ant's found a, a comfy seat in there. He's ready for his lunch. This would have been a very good place to find some seclusion and retreat from the world, I imagine. So we found the grotto. Ooh, it's called the Tufa Grotto. See it in the background there. Uh, this is in the uh, Duchess's garden, so we'll get a few photos inside for you. So guys, we've had a wonderful day at Beaver Castle. We have. We have. We've spent a few hours wandering around the grounds. The house is spectacular. And um, we've finished the uh, visit off here at the engine room, which is gift shops and eateries. So we hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you have, if you could give us a <laughs> thumbs up, that would be amazing. And if you can give that old bell a ring, uh, subscribing would be amazing. Thank you so much. We we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye.